In today's video, we're diving into an incredible tool that's capturing the attention in the world of AI Fabric is an open source AI framework anyone can use to improve their life and work. This framework categorizes various tasks into patterns, making performing actions such as text summarization and video extraction easy. Moreover, it can combine these patterns to execute more advanced tasks. With over 8,900 stars on GitHub, Fabric is not just a buzzword, it's a game changer. Stay tuned as we explore what Fabric is, its unique features, how it functions, and my personal experience with it. Definitely stay tuned throughout the end of this video. If you guys haven't followed me, I highly recommend that you do so, so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. Lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn the notification, bell like this video and check out previous videos because there is a lot of content that you will definitely benefit from. So that thought, let's get right back into the video. Fabric is a powerful Python library and command line tool that's designed to make your life easier when managing remote servers. It's built to simplify a variety of tasks such as running commands, uploading and downloading files, and automating server administration processes. All right, Let's jump into the heart of Fabric and uncover what makes it stand out. Fabric uses Secure Shell to connect to servers securely. It provides a user-friendly way to execute commands on those servers, just like on your computer. Fabric allows you to automate repetitive tasks on your servers, reducing the chance of errors and saving you time. Fabric can run commands on multiple servers simultaneously, significantly speeding up administrative processes Fabric is built on another Python library called Invoke and offers a more user-friendly interface. Additionally, plugins can be added to extend Fabric's functionality for specific needs. Being an open source tool, Fabric is freely available for anyone to use. It benefits from a large and active community of users and developers contributing to its ongoing development and improvement. Why is Fabric gaining so much traction? The answer lies in its simplicity and power. Fabric breaks down the barriers to AI, making it accessible to not just developers, but anyone looking to enhance their work and life with AI. We're breaking down its key functionality to help you understand and utilize this tool effectively. Let's get started. A collection of instructions or commands for an AI to perform a specific task. For example, there are patterns for extracting interesting parts from YouTube videos or summarizing academic papers. These can be considered AI recipes customized for a specific activity. The process of combining multiple patterns to accomplish more complex tasks, such as automating the process of summarizing a document and then generating AI art based on that summary. A server-side functionality is responsible for hosting and managing patterns, allowing individual users and developers to run and share their patterns in the cloud. Client-side scripts and applications that invoke it and execute specific patterns allow users to harness the power of AI directly on their devices and platforms. Fabric uses advanced AI technologies like GPT-4 and Cloud-3 API to ensure that tasks are performed with accuracy and efficiency. First things first, we need to move to the desktop directory because that's where we'll be downloading and setting everything up. If you're not sure how to do that, just type CD desktop into your terminal or command prompt and hit enter. Next up, we're going to create a new folder where we'll store our project. To do this, type mkdir test fabric and press enter. We're going to clone the fabric project from GitHub right into our newly created folder. First, ensure you're still on your desktop by typing CD desktop again. Then Use the command guide clone, followed by the URL of the GitHub repository. Once the cloning is done, we need to move into the Fabric main directory. You can do this by typing cd, followed by the name of the folder that was created when you cloned the repository. Before we can run our project, we need to install Poetry, which helps manage dependencies. Just type install Poetry and wait for the process to complete. We're almost there. Type dot slash setup dot sh to run the setup script. This step is crucial as it prepares our project for use. It's normal to encounter errors or issues during installation. If that happens, don't panic, 
Just copy the error message and paste it into ChatGPT. I'll help you troubleshoot and get past it. Check if Fabric is working to see if everything's working as it should. Type Fabric H into your terminal. If the setup was successful, you'll see a bunch of helpful information and options related to Fabric. Let's try another command. Fabric Setup. This helps ensure everything is set correctly. Enter your OpenAI key. Remember, the API key you see here won't work for you, so make sure you use your API key. And that's it. You've successfully set up Fabric on your machine. Now, you're ready to dive in and start using this powerful tool for your projects. After installing Fabric, I was eager to test its capabilities. The first command I ran was the Fabric Pattern Summaries. The goal was to summarize a lengthy article from my website where I've documented nearly all my blogging adventures. The result? A concise, straight-to-the-point summary. It was impressive how Fabric managed to distill the essence of the article. Feeling encouraged, I decided to delve deeper into what Fabric could offer. Fabric isn't just about summarizing text. Its real power lies in the stitching feature, which allows you to combine different pattern functions for task execution. This sounded exactly like what I needed to streamline my workflow. To test this, I ran a command to extract wisdom from a piece of text and then summarize it. Fabric pattern, extract wisdom, fabric pattern, summarize. The process was straightforward and the output was enlightening. Fabric seamlessly handled the task showcasing its ability to efficiently process and condense information. Next, I wanted to explore Fabric's ability to generate visual content. I ran Fabric Pattern Summarize, Fabric Pattern Create Logo, hoping to see Fabric churn out a summary and a logo. However, the twist was unexpected. Instead of directly generating an image, Fabric provided detailed prompts for the image I wanted to generate. At first, I was taken aback. But then, realizing the potential for customization, I input the detailed prompt into DALI 3 and voila, a unique logo was born. Next, I would like to output some abstracts of references that I will refer to when writing my paper. Enter the following prompts. I would like to prepare a paper on LLM. I need three papers that support the theme and three papers that oppose the theme and I need to create an abstract for the paper that references both of these papers. This time, there was no suitable pattern, so I ran the following command, pb paste fra fabric. The results were as follows. In this way, they helped me come up with a topic for my LLM thesis, search for supporting and opposing papers, and use them to generate a detailed abstract for my thesis. It produced the results I was expecting. As you can see, once installed, Fabric performs tasks very easily and efficiently. It seems that updates will continue in the future, so we will introduce new features as they are added. Fabric is an open source AI framework designed to automate complex tasks. It classifies a broad spectrum of activities, ranging from simple tasks like text summarization or extracting key points from a video to more intricate ones. The beauty of Fabric lies in its utilization of AI to automate mundane tasks, thereby making it accessible even to individuals lacking technical expertise, enabling them to work with greater efficiency and creativity. If Fabric continues to evolve, we might witness AI solving various tasks in our daily lives, potentially leading to a world reminiscent of a science fiction movie.